Taraji oh, again the tagging right the body there. right on the... There he is, just attacking the body, coming around the guard. A little bit on the belt line right there. This is Jerry Penelosa, and welcome to Just Doing Action. Hi, I'm John Vincent Boralde. Hi guys, this is Johan Goles and welcome back dito sa Josh Duet Boxing! Apat na beses na dumayo sa Australia at dalawang beses nagpakitang gila sa China. Ngunit nasaan na nga ba siya ngayon? Babalik pa kaya siya sa mundo ng boxing? Yan ang ating nga alamin sa dolo. Pero bago ko ituloy ang video na to, kung ngayon ka palang napadpad sa ating munting channel, mas maganda kung nakasubscribe ka na at pindutin mo na rin ang notification bell button para lagi ka manotify sa ating mga bagong uploads. At ang pinakaimportante sa lahat ay lagi kang updated sa mga bagong pangyayari sa boxing. Ilang beses nang pinatunayan ng ating kababayan noong taong 2019, ang bagong usbong na buksingero sa bansang Japan na si Kenshiro Teraji. May kartadang labing anim na panalo, walang talo at siyam nito ay tinapos via knockout. Marami-rami na rin ang mga Pilipino na nabiktima nito, kabilang na si Naroli Sumalpong na tinapos via unanimous decision, Lester Abutan via technical knockout, Milan Melindo via technical knockout. Pinatigil kasi ng kampo ni Melindo dahil sa sugat nito at malaking apekto ito sa kanyang paningin. Si Jonathan Takuning via technical knockout at si Randy Razor Pitalcurin via technical knockout. Si Kenshiro Tiraji ang may hawak ng WBC light flyweight title at pitong beses niya itong dinipensahan sa pamamagitan ng mga body shots at mga galawang mala na Oya Inoue. Marami nang sumubok agawin ang nasabing titulo ngunit wala pa ni isang nagtagumpay sa mga panahong iyon. Nung nabigyan ng pagkakataon ng ating kababayan ay hindi niya na ito pinalampas pa. Dumayo siya sa bansang Japan, dala ang bandera ng Pilipinas. Ritual na kasi dito ang magpalitan ng bandera bago magumpisa ang laban. Body shots around. Across from the amazing boy, Taraji in the ring tonight, Randy Razor Petalcorn, out of General Santos, the Philippines, a southpaw out of the Philippines. You know all about that, Tim. <laughs> the, the southpaw stance of popping that jab. This is with the right hand and extends that left out of the southpaw stance. Lands to the body of, of round two, four, 12. 12 rounds in the junior flyweight division, the WBC World Championship on the line. Kinshiro Taraji is the champion, making his seventh title defense tonight. What do you want to see here in round two from the champ? Well, from the champ, he's just, right now, he's trying to get his rhythm right now. You see him bouncing back and forth, trying to get his jab established, trying to locate distance. But I have to say one thing. You know, Petacorin, he's a busy, busy fighter. When he gets his work rate going, he throws between about 81 punches around. Yeah, triple you jab know? and a left hand right there, Tim. Yeah, but right now it doesn't seem like he's throw he's able to throw 80 81 punches around right now. You know, the jab and the movement of Taraji is giving him some problems. It's exactly the way you take away a ball you punch him. Petacorin is definitely the one letting his hands go more. Has been first on the majority of these exchanges here. As Taraji tries to establish his job, and again with that left hand to the body for Petal Corin. Triples up on that jab. Yeah, one of the punches that I'm looking for for Taraji is, is the right hand. The oh, right yeah. hand got a strong right against, hand. This, is it, against the southpaw. It's a very effective punch. That's got to come a long way for these guys with short arms, though, and fighting that, uh, you know, an orthodox versus the southpaw to get that right hand. Well, one of the things you got to realize, Christina, is that once you touch your opponent with the jab, you're in range to throw that power shot. So let it go. And that's what Taraji needs to do to land his right hand. Taraji 
trying to establish that jab to him that you mentioned. And occasionally he's taking a, a left hand to the body because he's stepping straight back after shooting that jab. Yeah, Pedro Corn's doing a good job when he throws that jab, doubling it up, then following it with the hook there. Following him out. There's two things that happen when you're fighting against a southpaw and you're an orthodox fighter. First, you gotta fight, look at the lead, the lead feet of both guys. They're lined up on the same side, so you're gonna get a lot of, you know. Stepping on stepping that front on, foot. Yeah, stepping yep. on that front foot. And then also, when they throw their power hands, they end up on the same side. So sometimes you'll see a lot of head clashes when the southpaw versus an orthodox fighter. They battle for that outside foot position with that lead foot. And again, that left hand from Pedalcorn lands been his most successful punch of the fight as he turns up the action here at the end of round two. Pedal Corn off to a strong start here the first two rounds. You know, he's getting his there rhythm with the speed, and there's the, the right hand that he finally lets go is what you were calling for, Tim. Yeah, you were right when you said it was, he's trying to time him. That's exactly what Taraji's trying to do. He's trying to time the rushes of Pedal Corn. Finally lets that left hand go as well. He likes nice. to throw that left hook to the body. And I, what I liked with Pettacorn right there was that he got his head off the line to throw that left hand, and, and that's something that he's probably learned from. Oh, and a good from, counter right hand from the champ. Learn from Manny Pacquiao, because that's one of Manny Pacquiao's signature punches. Mm, nice little check hook right there from Pettacorn. They both throw and land at the same time, but. Pedal Corrin, the aggressor here. Finally, though, the champ Kinshiro has picked up the activity rate in round three. Still really wide stance, Tim, for the champ as well. Very wide stance. It's like putting yourself in quicksand. Right, you're not you know? gonna generate a lot of power with your base that wide. And you're not gonna be able to move laterally as quickly with that wide stance. That's why I keep getting caught yep. with the left hand. Base is way too wide. And he's almost lunging forward with those punches. As he connects the right hand to the body of Pedal Horn. His best combination of the fight so far. You see Christina, he put them together. Twos and threes right there instead of one punch at a time. And strong jab there for the champ as he's feel that he Hanggang nasingitan siya ng straight jab sa bodega. Di niya ito napansin sa sobrang bilis at sobrang lakas dahilan para madampi niya ang mga gloves nito sa canvas ng ring pero di pa rin sumuko ang ating kababayan muli itong bumangon para ipakita ang dugong palaban at dahil nabawasan na nga ito ng hangin ito na ang laging pinupuntirya ng haponis hindi ito sumusuntok sa mukha kundi puro sa katawan na lang to put on the pressure very poised though Tim not rushing in oh he's not he's just looking for an opportunity to land that body shot Sunod-sunod right na kaliwat kanan hanggang sa hindi na naman ito napansin ng ating kababayan. Muli na namang nakasingit ang mabigat na kanan ng haponis. Ilang beses bumagsak ang Pinoy pero nagpupumilit pa rin itong tumayo. Nahihirapan na ang ating kababayan pero pinipilit pa rin itong ipagpatuloy ang laban. Buti na lang at bigla na namang dumating ang ating Lodi. Raji throws a throwaway jab right there. Nice full extension with the right hand to the body. Like I just got to saying, if you can't hit the head, the body is always there. Nice little shot in the solar the plex. There he is just attacking the body, coming around the guard. A little bit on the belt line right there. Drops him for the third. Tim, this body assault has been vicious here. Pedal Corn doing a better job of taking them here in round four. His offense is his defense for the most part for Pedal Corn. Yeah. Again to the body. That's a vicious left hand to the body. Hanggang sa hindi na talaga kaya ni Randy na tumayo. Dahil sa mga pinsalang natamo nito. Ito ang huling laban ng ating kababayan. Pero bago pa man naganap ang talo na ito. Sa kabilang banda naman mga lords, si Kenshiro Tiraji. Ang hapon na tumalo kay Randy Pitalcorin ay nakatikim ng kauna-unahan talo sa kanyang buong karera. 
Yun ay ang huling laban nito sa kanyang kababayan na si Masamichi Yabuki at ito ay ginanap sa City Gym Kyoto, Japan. Matapos itong paulanan ng sunod-sunod na mga combination na mala ultimate skill ni Badang. Animoy na patagay si Kenshiro Tiraji na mga tatlong basong tuba sa forma at gewang ng lupaypay na katawan nito habang inaalalayan ng kanyang kampo papunta sa kanilang corner. Tagay pa! Sa ngayon ng ating kababayan ay patuloy pa rin sa pag-iinsayo sa General Santos Boxing Gym. Hindi daw muna ito lalaban ngayon dahil sa pandemic pero babalik din ito sa laban ayon sa kanyang co-manager and co-promoter na si Sir Peter Maniatis. Hanggang dito na lang muna ang ating video ngayon mga Lods. Maraming salamat sa inyong suporta. Mabuhay, ingat po and God bless.